growing up, my parents were um, they were very involved in social justice type work, trying to um, trying to work with you know populations that are um, disadvantaged. And so for me, um, I, I wanted to work in medicine. And there's a lot of great places you can help people, but specifically family medicine, I think it allows you to really um, provide services that a lot of people uh, may not be able to get otherwise. I think most of us in family medicine, um, I don't think we would choose the profession if we didn't want to try to help address mental health issues or um, you know psychosocial challenges that patients are having. I think that's what draws a lot of us to family medicine is that you get a, you know, you're seeing all different ages and you're and there's no problem that you can say that's not my problem. You need to see somebody else. You really need to, you need to try to help um, patients with all the all the challenges they have. So. Um, I think that's one of the intimidating things about family medicine, but it's also one of the rewarding things, certainly, um, that you can help people in a variety of ways. Having grown up in the country, having seen um, Dr. Van Eaton, who was the family doctor in Eatonville for many years, having kind of seen how he um, was an integral part of the community, um, I was looking more, more for that. Um, I think it's, for me, it's, it, it'll be easier in a smaller rural town to to feel like you're part of a community. And it's not that you're just a doctor seeing patients, but you, you know, you see patients at sports events or um, other things. You're not, you know, you're not just in medicine, but you're really part of the community like anybody else.